Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to uh, Dragon Quest Seven. All right, let's go ahead and uh, leave Dune. And before we head back to the Traveler's Gate, let's go see if we can find Hadid real fast. And uh, fight these guys. Go ahead and equip that. Uh, let us rip through the wyverns and... I could probably go rest somewhere along the way. Well, I don't really need to. Let's not do that. Attack the Babylonians. Unfortunately, other than Maribel's class, I think all of the classes, uh, I think Ald and Gabo's classes are both, uh... Nice. Um, ones that reduce the MP, so. Okay, go ahead and rip them. There we go. Excellent. 104 uh, points of XP, 56 gold. I thought he was supposed to be here. Hmm. Okay, I'm kind of confused. Maybe he's back at the castle? Maybe I didn't actually talk to everyone at the, uh... Well, we didn't actually get rid of all of the monsters. Also, nail mans look kind of awful. Four damage, not too bad. Well, that's just rude. Go ahead and see about taking care of him, and there we go. Excellent. Alright. 57 XP, 23 gold. Okay, is there anyone that I did not show the charm to back in, in town? Monsters haven't noticed us yet. I wish the AI were smart enough to see that the other compa that their companions have uh, weapons that do the most damage to the first people and less damage subsequently, so they'll attack not the first one. Was there anyone that I didn't talk to? I don't think so. Pretty sure I talked to everyone. No one up here. Let's go talk to you again. Show the charm to the villagers and they will be glad to help you. On behalf of our fallen brothers, I thank you again. Let 
Let me tell you about Tyrannos. To reach the Sphinx, one must traverse the waters of the Nyla. However, the river has grown too treacherous to navigate. That is why we must attempt to enlist the aid of the mythical dragon, Tyrannos. If it can indeed be found, someone can ride the awesome beast up the river and save the queen. Hadid is currently searching for the dragon in the area surrounding the river. This is our best, no, our last hope. All right, I may not have talked to him, and that's maybe what I needed to do. All right, back out we go. Hello, monsters. Let's keep going with uh, Rip. I wish I had a better feel for the, um... Oh, there he is. Yeah, okay. He's not even in it, he's just at it. Like, I'm not sure if Rip goes up in damage as, uh... Oh. Let's go ahead and attack that one, then. Uh, as... Gabo does? Although, honestly, like... Rip seems to do even more damage anyway. Twenty-six. Well, maybe it's pretty varied. Fifty-eight points of XP. As the fighter, Ald became Black Belt. Ald learned Roundhouse. Thirty-six gold. Ah, oh, okay. Now he's gone. Right, where are you, you dink? Uh... Oh. Swimming around out there, huh? This is terrible. There isn't a single fish to be found. Not even Tyrannos could survive this. That sounds bad. Oh, it's you. There isn't a single living thing in this river. Perhaps they've all migrated to more tranquil waters. You're travelers, right? Have you ever heard anything about Tyrannos? Even if he is dead, someone must remember the Golden Horn. I can't give up yet. We do know... So we do know someone uh, who knows about a Golden Horn. Let's go back to the present. One day I'll remember which side is which. And that day is not today. Alright, return. Uh... I am not sure which one would be closest. I think I'll maybe. walk there, technically. But I think it's part of this, uh, landmass. No, it is not. It is part of that one down there. Alright, um... Rex would, would probably have been closest. Oh well. It's a shame that there isn't an ability to get a mini-map. Imagine all the stuff I could find by digging holes in the ground. I'm going to try digging up my mom's garden tomorrow. That is a great plan, kiddo. I think that might be new. 
Can't stand wasting all this money. Can't somebody just get rid of those awful bones? I've been waiting all day. Why can't I get in? This is my fifth time here, but I just can't get enough of that skull. It's just so beautiful to look at. I can only imagine what it was like alive. Scree, scree, scree! Ruff, ruff. Hmm, nothing seems to quite match. Can't they hurry up? I'm not much longer for this world, you know. Step right up. Only five gold gets you. Hmm? You want to talk to the scholar? Well, then come on in. I just can't figure out anything about this skull. It's just like everything else in archaeology. No one knows the truth. The only way to know for sure would be to be around back when this animal was still alive. <sighs> no use dreaming about it, though. Oh, hello. Feel free to look around, but don't touch anything. It's a skull of a huge animal with a golden horn on its head. The horn gleams like gold. Do you want to try touching it? No. Hey! I told you not to touch anything. What's the matter with kids today? I, I said I wasn't going to touch it. What? You want to know about that skull? I'm glad you asked. That skull appears to belong to some kind of large reptile. Judging from fossils of freshwater plants and fish found nearby, it appears this animal lived in a large river. How did it get here? It would have been big enough for four people to ride on. Oh, how convenient! But most importantly, look at the horn on its head. See how it shines so beautifully. I can only imagine how this creature looked in the water. Well, did you understand all of that? Yes, I did. Well, that was fun. Back to my research. Do you want to tell the scholar about Dune? Sure. Ald told the scholar about his adventures in Dune. You want me to lend you that skull? Don't be silly. Huh? You need it in the past? What, do you travel through time? Yeah, I have a DeLorean out back, out front. Oh, I'm impressed. Do you have any proof of this ability of yours? I'm not about to be tricked into giving away that skull, children. Now get out of here. Ald stared at the dune charm. A sense of courage began to flow. Okay, no, that's not it. Don't tell me you still think you can travel through time. Show the dune charm? Yep. Ald took out the dune charm and showed it to the scholar. Oh, really? Well, huh? I've seen this pattern before. I have a piece of plate that looks just like this, but how? Ah, I see. So then this would be... No, wait, that means... Oh, no, all of my theories were wrong! Oh, but maybe this could... Hmm. Well, where did you get that? Ald explained everything to the scholar. So, at the beginning... You, you don't want to hear about the Big Bang? Why are you looking at me like that? This pattern is from ancient times, but the piece is brand new. The only explanation I can come up with is that you cleaned it really well. The only explanation I can come up with is that this piece somehow traveled through time. Alright, I've seen enough. Take me to the past with you. If you could really do it, that skull is yours. Will you bring the scholar with you to the past? Yes. Ah, wonderful. Just wait a moment. Let's just slip this giant skull with a uh, golden horn into my pocket. Here you go. Ald obtained the fossil. Scholar joined the party. Do you have a name, sir? No, you could just call me Scholar. Oh. Is that your name? Well, yes. It's what my parents named me. All right, let's go. The past awaits. All right, you going somewhere, Scholar? Be careful. I'll hold down the fort for you. Hello there, Scholar. Beautiful day, isn't it? I'm about to pack up here, but don't forget me, okay? Who are you? Oh, fantastic. You never knew. <laughs> well, then. What? Oh, you there. Are you my son? Hmm? Or was it a girl I had? No, no, that was the cat. Hmm, I must be losing my mind. Caw, caw, caw! 
Bazoom, bazoom, scraw. What do you think it sounded like, scholar? How should I know? It's dead. Oh. Oh, hello, scholar. Is that your grandchild there? You idiot, I'm not that old. I swear. Oh, scholar, going out somewhere? I am on a journey in search of knowledge. That's what us scholars do, you see. Please, scholar, can't you help me out? I know this is a big discovery and all that, but don't you think five gold is a bit too much? What? Huh, going somewhere? Oh, you're gonna go dig somewhere else? When I first found this place, I was so excited that my heart began to pound wildly. A trip to the past, there's no comparison. I'm beside myself. Oh, you're the one that promised to bring the old guy, so you look after him. Hmm. Just fine. Okay, let's go. Back to the past. What about back to the future? All set off to the Fane with the Scholar in tow. Once he arrived at the Fane, the Scholar was ecstatic and immediately set about examining every nook and cranny. Eventually, though, he was calmed. They now set off for Dune, trapped in the distant past. What was that blue police box that just went by? Oh, don't worry about it. You'll see it all the time. Wow! A desert? I thought we were on an island in a, mi a minute ago. Wait a minute, this means... We're in the past! Oh, thank you, God! Which way is the ruin? Take me there now! What if I don't want to take you there? What if I want to take you somewhere else? Uh, let's see... Um... Yeah, I think we're supposed to go to the palace, but let's not go there yet. Hey, where are you going? Take me to the ruin as soon as possible. Oh, all right. Young people shouldn't be standing around idle. Now hurry up and lead me to the nearby ruins. So this is the ancient wind. What a fragrance. I give my thanks to God. Now then, there must be some ruins around here somewhere. The old guy looks so happy. I'm very pleased. Oh, Maribel doesn't have anything to say. My god, it's almost in perfect shape. This style is incredible. It's more beautiful than I had imagined. Wait, what's that? Oh, that can't be. Wow. Amazing. Oh, and I'm seeing it all with my own eyes. Uh, you know what's going to exist in the present soon, right? According to this inscription, there was a ceremony for it, which means that... Hmm, well, what are you doing here? I'm busy right now. We'll talk later. The bone key, but it's nothing compared to all this. Okay. Fossil of huge animal. Ald stared at the fossil. A golden horn protrudes from the center of the skull. All right. Um. Looks like we can just leave him here, where there were monsters not too long ago. Let's go show it to the chief. Cloud. Um, that guy's missing. Hello? There's an emergency. The chief has fallen ill. The chief's successor, Hadid, is nowhere to be found. I can't even calm down enough to stand guard. That's not great. Is the chief sick? How bad is he? Let's go see him. Where has Hadid wandered off to now that his father is sick? He's such a bastard. Oh, hi, ladies. Damn it, where did he go? Hadid is the chief's only son and should be by his side. Oh, it's you. You came at a bad time, or should I say you came at the right time to help us? The 
chief's wife has finally gotten better, but now the chief himself has fallen ill. If the monsters attacked us now, we wouldn't stand a chance. Oh, how I wish a deed were here. Please, God, have mercy. Let our chief live. Please, God, save the chief's life. Have mercy on him. He's still too young to join you in heaven. He's only 97. All I can do now is for the chief is pray. Please, God, protect the chief in our village. Oh, goody, thoughts and prayers. The chief has been quietly resting ever since word came of the queen's disappearance. With neither of them to lead us, what will we do? Hadid's absence has the chief worried sick. Why does he have to be a wandering around at a time like this? How could you say that? Hadid is journeying for the sake of us all. He's the only one with the courage to say enough to save the queen. Uh, what am I, chopped living liver? Uh, yes, you are. You look very chaste. I mean, uh, you're, 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 you're strangers, yes, yes. I'm certain that his return will be swift. I don't know about that. My husband may not get better. He lapsed into a coma and hasn't awoken since. Please pay him a visit. He, he was so happy to see you before. Now if only that boy would come back. The chief, emaciated and pale, is lying in his bed. Alright. Um. Alright, I may not have talked to everyone. Maybe there's still someone that I need to talk to. Oh, there he is. Ah! What a deed! Zips on by us. Ignoring everything. Hadid, you've come back. But I don't think he can. You got nothing to say about this at all, huh, Hadid? To think just after Hadid finally came home. It's you. I had an uneasy feeling, so I returned to the village. Wait, my father is not. No, never mind. Did you come to see my father as well? I'm afraid he hasn't woken up. He's still breathing, though. Dear. Father, you're awake. Oh, indeed. As you see, I am not long for this world. Thank you, travelers. It has been an honor. Father, it's not your time to die. The queen is still in danger, and I have yet to find Tyrannos. If the mantle of chief is placed upon me, I will not be able to continue my search. So, you weren't able to find the old dragon after all. Heavens, that's the... Please, show me that skull that you're clearly cl carrying that's larger than all three of you combined. Show the fossil to the chief? Yes. All showed the fossil to the chief. Incredible. Indeed, do you remember the story I told you when you were little? In the Nyla lived a great dragon with a golden horn on its head. This skull matches the description perfectly. Are we already too late? No wonder we you couldn't find it. It's been gone for years. Indeed, I appoint you to be uh, our next chief. Do you accept? Zarathustra, my father! I'm not sure if he's using Zarathustra as an exclamation or if his father is named Zarathustra. I mean, it's an interesting... Either way is interesting. I know you wanted to save her, but there is nothing left to do. The main priority now is to protect the villagers. Please, Hadid, try to understand. <coughs> I won't let you die. You're not going to die. You can't forsake the village now. Zarathustra, you cannot abandon us. It is time for you to take over, my son. I have a favor to ask of you travelers. When a chief dies, his body is left to the currents of the Nyla. We are born with the Nyla, and we die with the Nyla. 
So please, let me return, and let Tyrannos return as well. Dear. I'm, I'm sorry, could you please leave us? No. <laughs> please, let Tyrannos return to the Nyla. Please, dear, don't die. I'm sorry, but could you leave us alone for a while? Please. Alright, I guess so. Down we go. My father is dead. I have to go tell the villagers. He likes using ellipses, doesn't he? Gabo is lost in thought. Hadid, you look pale. You're not... Finally. He must be returning with good news. How could he not be? All we can do is pray for her safety. I've never seen Hadid look so pale. Chief. McLeod. Thank you all for gathering here today. The great chief of Dune, my father, Zarathustra, has died. Ah, okay, so Zarathustra is his uh, dad's name. Interesting name choice. Also Sprock. I wonder why they went with Zarathustra rather than Zoroaster. The funeral ceremony will take place tomorrow at the Nyla. I want everyone to return to your homes and get ready for tomorrow. I know I will be busy with preparing as well. Thank you. Hmm. Alden and his friends struggled through a sleepless night at the chief's residence. The chief's closest friends, inconsolable as they were, could be heard sobbing and wailing well into the night. And then a new morning dawned. Do we get the tone? Yes. Yes, happy tone for dead chief. I'm terrible. Good, it looks like we're all here. We will now depart for the banks of the Nyla. Is everyone ready? Well, at least we just got here. That's nice. Oh, Chief, it's so sad. Zarathustra truly was a fine Chief. I'll never forget him. Oh, Chief, I was sure I would be gone long before you. Oh, why does this have to happen now? Oh, Chief! Oh, my Chief. At least you finally saw Hadid before you left us. The chief is now in the afterlife. What will you ask of God? Uh, nothing right now. Take care. May God and the Terra Spirit grant you their divine protection. I still can't believe it. I knew this day would come, but why so soon? He was only 97. This must be hard on the chief's wife. I hope she doesn't fall ill as well. The chief and I were childhood friends, then drinking buddies, then hunting partners. Oh, God. Oh, Chief, may the gates of heaven open wide for you. Oh, great Zarathustra, may you rest in peace. May God grant us peace and prosperity under our new chief. We will now hold the funeral of Chief Zarathustra. Oh, Mother Nyla, today Zarathustra returns to your womb. Chief Zarathustra of Dune always walked the noble path in life. Oh, Nyla, please take him back into your arms and guide him to the heavens so that he may be reborn. Zarathustra, my father, and the great leader of Dune, I vow to fulfill his dying wish. Sploosh. And off it goes. Zarathustra has returned to the Nyla. Today his son Hadid will become Chief of Dune. I will try my I will try my best not to betray my father's esteem. I think it would have been hilarious if they had named uh, him Paul and his father Leto. Hail to the Chief! Chief Hadid! Long live Chief Hadid! Remember my father's dying wish, travelers? The ancient dragon is dead. You possess the proof in your hands. 
We must now inter the remains of Tyrannos. The raft can wait until later. These people came all the way across that monster-infested desert. It shows how much they loved the old chief. Even his old wife made the trip. Return to the Nyla? Yes, that is a possibility. When Fishbell Town folk die, maybe we return to the sea. All we've got to return Tyrannos' skull to the Nyla River. Oh, you made the chief a promise before he died, right? No, actually I didn't. I promised to set Tyrannos' skull adrift in the river, along with his own body. You've got to keep your promise. So it is now a Tyron Bone. Bone of huge animal. Okay. Go ahead and use Old Stare to the Tyrant Bone. A golden horn protrudes from the Sun of the Skull. Okay. Nope. Go talk to you. Go ahead and throw the skull of Tyrannos in the river, into the Nyla. Only then will there be closure to his story. Go ahead. Throw the skull into the Nyla. Okay. There we go. Ald gently places a Tyrant Bone in the river. I'm not sure that it would float. Now it's sinking. The Tyrant Bone slowly sinks to the bottom. Now both my father and Tyrannos can rest in peace. All right, everyone, let's return to the village. What? Everyone, look out! The Nyla! Uh-oh, it's boiling. Dropping the bone in. Made a hole to the uh, magma below. Wait, I thought there were, we, we were told that there were no fish down there. Hey, it's Plesiosaur. I think more than four people could ride on its back. It's a miracle! Uh, one of the old guys seems to have had a heart attack and died. Can't believe my eyes! Tyrannos is reborn! Tyrannos, I must be dreaming! Oh god, I thank you from the bottom of my heart! Thank you all, without you this miracle never would have occurred! I must take advantage of this immediately! I'm sorry everyone, it's still too early for me to be the chief! I must ride the ancient dragon and rescue our queen. I will return only when she is safely recovered. Yes, I'm sure of it. We know you can do it. Yes, absolutely. Listen, Tyrannos, can you understand me? Take me up the Nyla to where the queen is held. Come on, Ald. Help me invade the evil statue. I'll need all of your help, your strength to rescue Dune. Let me know when you're ready. All this excitement's making my back ache. Oh my god, this can't be happening. Where did that thing come from? I can't believe it. Oh dear, are you alright, Grandfather? He must have thrown out his back again. Wow, look at the size of him. If only the chief could have seen this. You are joining Hadid in his journey to the statue? I wish you a safe journey. God bless you. I know Hadid will rescue the queen. We will pray for your safe journey. Oh god, you haven't forgotten about us. Thank you for sending these brave souls to help us. Whoa, I've never seen a real seen the real thing before. Such a noble beast. Of course I'm worried about Hadid, but we must try to take care of ourselves. I hope he comes back with the queen. Amazing, you must be magicians. Well, I figured something like this might happen. So I brought along brought all my stuff along with me. This is an item shop. How may I help you? Uh, I don't... Well, you know... Let's just get some, uh, life rocks. And I'll put them in the bags for now. It's a miracle. The dragon was reborn from a mere skull. I still cannot believe it. Well, let's go ahead and get a save. 
Save to the Adventure Journal. And our very last uh, save slot on this card. All right. So when we uh, come back next time, we'll ride uh, Tyrannos up the Nyla and uh, see if we can rescue the queen. See you next time, everyone.